How's it going? Hope you're having a great day. So here's the deal. I'm a stand-up comedian. That's what I do. And I'm always writing jokes. So today, uh, I'm putting out this video uh, of me writing a joke. And I figured you guys could just uh, join in, kind of watch. I'm going to write a Trump joke that is universal. That isn't about Trump, but is inspired by Trump. Okay, my, my grandpa... used to be a, a man who, no, I used to be a casino. Okay, I think I'm going to do an observational about something completely different and then bring Trump into it. This is just me spitballing here because uh, my jokes can always, when I'm done writing, it could be something completely different. It may not even be about Trump, but that's my goal. <laughs> so... Um, I'm going to go with an observation, and I'm trying to think of different observations, things that, you know, when I think of Trump, things that kind of pop in my mind, and obviously credit cards pop in my mind. It's one thing that's been bothering me is the, the credit cards. The new credit cards bother me so much because they take so long, and it's got those stupid chips, you know, and you got to insert the chips. I hate that with a passion. And, like, we left checks so that we can, you know, move quicker, and now we're back to these credit cards with the little chips. So, um, just so you can see my, my writing, it's kind of what I do. I just write some a few things here and there. I just wrote like new credit cards and I put an arrow and put, well, we left checks so we can go quicker. I hate the chip. I wrote that in there. It's really just for me because I'm angry. I hate the chip. I hate the chip. I was staring at a perfectly trimmed shrub and I thought, man, if Trump becomes president, all of our shrubs are not going to look as good anymore. Because what? He's not thinking about the shrubbery. Trump is not thinking about the shrubbery. I don't want to do this either because I like to be indirect. I like to be indirect with my, with my jokes. I'm going to take that shrub, the word shrub that I wrote in this joke. This is a, what I just did was write a joke that I'm not going to use. It's just something to kind of get the creative juices flowing. Then what I do is I take a word or two that I see from it and I move it over. So the word that I got was shrub. I love the word shrubbery right now, like uh, as in these past two seconds. So the word shrubbery kind of sounds funny to me. So uh, I think I'm going to use shrubbery. Uh, my neighbor is an annoying man. He's always coming over and uh, doing my shrubbery then he's asking for money. So I um, built a fence in between us. Trump is a bad role model. I built a fence between my neighbor and I. Then I knocked on his door and asked him to pay for it. That's a setup. That's a setup. It's empowering. Okay. This is... I'll say something to kind of lead in something about Trump real quick just to get a mindset and then be like, do you know how empowering it is to build walls between you and other people and then ask them to pay for it? You know, in a way, this kind of just blew my mind. In a way, this joke now has to move to the next, the next page. Boom, we're getting somewhere. Everyone criticizes Trump for doing whatever he wants. And let's see. Everyone criticizes Trump for doing whatever he wants and having other people pay for it. Let me ask you a question. When was the last time you paid off your credit cards? Okay, so I like the idea. Now I'm going to rephrase it to make it funny. All right. So it's taken me about an hour. I got two jokes. Joke number one. It's empowering to build walls between you and other people and then have them pay for it. I haven't gotten anybody say yes yet, but they do call the cops. Joke number two. Everyone's criticizing Trump for building a wall and then having other people pay for it. You know, what's so wrong for buying something, like buying whatever you want, and having someone else pay for it? 
That's what everyone uses credit cards for. My parents have been pulling a trump for 20 years. Obviously, um, that's not true about my parents, but, uh, you know, they're very good with what they do. But um, the point is just to make it kind of personal at the end, and I'll probably change it to somebody else has been pulling a trump. Whatever sounds good, whatever sounds kind of funny, um, that's kind of what I'll do. Um, but you need that person, uh, for me, you know, I want that personal thing to kind of um, uh, be that extra, like, oh, kind of reaction type thing. So, um, uh, that's pretty much it. That's that's how it works. Put me two pages, this page and then the next one, um, to kind of write a joke. And um, that's what happened. I, I got two out. We'll have to see uh, how it looks. So now I'm excited to just kind of perform it. Um, I'm probably going to polish it once or twice before I get it uh, up on stage. Just, uh, I, I always like it to feel, you know, comfortable. I always like to feel comfortable with it. Like, oh yeah, this is, uh, kind of has my style in it. And, you know, it's not just a jab at somebody or, or a jab at, at something, but it's, a, you know, it's it's got layers to it. And that's kind of um, what I'm hoping for with this joke. So... Um, we'll just have to see what, uh, what happens on stage. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you want to see how the joke went, click on the, uh, top right, and you can see how the joke went, uh, live on stage. We'll, uh, see, hopefully the audience enjoyed that. Write down a comment. Let me know what jokes you guys would like to hear, uh, things that you'd like me to write about. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe and share. Thanks so much, guys. Uh, you're awesome. Don't ever give up. Have a good one.